Fyodor Kurzaskin versus Nathaniel Gilmore. Um, to those who don't know, they recently fought over at the Armory in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. In the undercard of the David Morel versus a Dosier Bosinuli fight, fight was shown live on Showtime. And the fight was scheduled for 10 rounds. It went the whole 10 rounds. And Fyodor won the fight by unanimous decision. All three judges gave it in favor of Fyodor. 99-91, And uh, yeah, I honestly wasn't really paying attention to this fight when this fight was taking place. Um, I was having a gender reveal party <laughs> for our baby. Uh, so I, I honestly wasn't fully paying attention to the fight. Uh, I just watched bits and pieces of it here and there. Uh, but based off what I've seen of it, it looked like Fedor was getting to Nathaniel Gilmore. Um, I expected more from Gilmore actually. Um, I apologize if you could hear the dogs barking in the background. Uh, I don't know why that's... My in-laws, uh, <laughs> my in-laws are going out of town, so they dropped off their dog here, and she keeps barking, which is making our puppy bark a lot more than you than usual. Um, but anyway, based on what I've seen of Gallimore, Gallimore, um, I, I expected more from him. I thought he would, uh, you know, he, I thought he'd test the Fedor, but it looked like he struggled to get things going for him, uh, finding the rhythm, this and that. So I, I can see why he lost, but. But yeah, I thought he'd make it at least a little bit more competitive, in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, with this win, uh, Fyodor improves to 21-0. and 13 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. That's two wins in a row now for his uh, two fights here in the USA. Um, well, he's undefeated for a reason. And um, maybe it's time to step it up. You know, Fyodor is considered a top, top 15. Uh, if we look at the rankings at the moment, Looking at the 160-pound uh, division, he's currently ranked number 13 by the WBC and number 15 by the IBF. I think it's definitely time to fight another top 15 fighter. Um, and hopefully he fights another top 15 fighter because that's your only way out to to move on to uh, bigger and better fights. And uh, anybody here in the top 15 is fine with me. Um, just fight one of them. <laughs> you know, just fight one of them. As for... Uh, Nathaniel Gallimore, uh, 34 years old, that's losing one, two, three, four, five, five I was of his last seven fights. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, he's just not cut out to be a top con or to be a title challenger. Uh, he got a good win against Leon Lawson in his last fight. Um, but then when he fought Fyodor, he ends up losing. He lost to Sebastian Fondura, he lost to Erickson Lubin, Patrick Teixeira, Julian Williams. All of these fighters that he's lost to prior to uh, Fyodor have all fought for a world title uh, or is somewhat of a, a world champion. I mean, I know Fondura has the interim belt. Uh, Lubin fought for the world title. Patrick Teixeira fought for a world title. Julian J. Rock Williams was a former unified champion. You know, he, he's lost to big names throughout his career. He also lost to Virgilius Stepolonius. Back in 2016, I have no idea who that is, um, but but yeah, the, the big the fighters he's lost to, you know they they're just better, they're just better, and uh, get their levels to the sport. And uh, Gallimore just can't break that level of breaking that you know top contendership of um, in the division. So so yeah, Gallimore, he's a good test for young and up and coming guys like this one, but. Um, like I said, I expected more from Gallimore in this fight against Fedor. It is what it is. If you did see the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.